Your boy Corey G here, Sornex, Summer Strong, 17. Never been here before. As you can see, this place is super sick. But you know I love the history of weightlifting and all the things that come with it. There is an amazing museum right on the inside of this door. Now there's a ton of really cool stuff going on right now. We got literally the squat party going on, big deadlifts. I just got deadlift like legit form critiques from Ed Cohn, which is crazy. But come check out the uh, museum, it's one of my favorite parts. So this is crazy. So at Old School Gym, you're good, you're good. At Old School Gym, I have my great-grandfather, Joseph Boone's original barbell set, is just one of these, and split in half is our chalk bowl at Old School. But I've never seen one of the barbell sets actually put together. And look, you've got original like exercise bike, rowing machine, some type of cable. I mean, the history of this stuff is crazy. And you look through and see all the old dumbbells. I mean, and then all these uh, Olympic plates. It's like all of these single arm dumbbells. You guys can hear it? It's fucking crazy. Give me a little look at this real quick. Pretty wild. And there's a gang of books and stuff in there, whatever that is. Oh, those are the 200 pound plates? Oh, I've never even seen these before. 200 pound plates. It's crazy. Wow. All right, we gotta catch some of these lifting, Kyle. Head over there. So, the environment is just crazy. Hey, there's Brian Peters right there. Who is that? Hey, let's just interview Brian real quick. Brian Peters uh, is right here, the stud himself. Brian, what does this event mean to you? This means the world. No, I just got, <laughs> I'm going uh, to Disney World! Yeah, yeah I'm, going, I'm going to Disney World, Mom. Uh, no, I've been coming to this event since 2017. Honestly, it's one of the coolest events and one of probably the biggest igniters of my tribe, my network. Bert and his massive heart has put this event on for years and years and cultivated some of the awesome greatest minds in powerlifting sports and everything and it's it's helped grow me as a fucking person dude it's been really cool obviously some of my best friends work for the company and then now like people inside my business network my my tribe people I fucking call when shit goes wrong are all stem from here so Sorenex by itself is my tribe but like Summer Strong just an opportunity to see like curious candid humans come together and fucking do cool shit and learn from cool humans and open-minded I think is something that always stands out where people don't come here and judge and hate everybody's here to collaborate and learn so and Brian's been telling me to come for years and I'm super glad that I did it's been dude, fucking it's awesome been juicy, <laughs> it? been it's juicy. Uh, next year I'm gonna lift dude, people need your juice man people need your light oh we about it all right we out Sometimes in life, you get the opportunity to 
Standing with a man who could change your life. Who's going to share information with you you can get nowhere else. To show you passion and determination from years of hard work and dedication. But this man, I'm going to introduce to you, is not just strong. He's not just talented. He's a compassionate man. And that compassion has led to his, a lot of his success. And folks, you got a chance right now to hear the best, the GOAT of all time, Ed Cohn. Shining like a real anthem. Shiny summer wanting that she think I think I answer. Whoa, telling me she wanted me to hammer. Trying to get saved, baby, I am not the answer. No, I can never trick, trick, trick. Let's the bitch is my bitch with a kiss on my lips like, ah. Uh. I am not a pimp with a limp, I'm a man with a gift, and I'm doing my shit like, ah! Oh! Tell them other nips, I'm the nip. I'm the man in the city, and my bank account bigger, and my body count bigger, that's without a doubt. I'm a hundred steps ahead, that's a lot of mouth. I'm ever clean, dreaming if it's skimming when the first ever takes a chance. Like a real answer. Shawty saw my wallet, now she think I think I answer. Whoa, telling me she wanted me to hammer. Trying to get saved, baby, I am not the answer.